Hey guys, Lost Air 45 here, we're playing some Modern Warfare 2 again. Sorry, I have no new footage, and all this seems to be sniper footage. Cable still broke. I'll be getting running by Thursday, and I'll be getting a new cable, so look forward to that, guys. But today, I have something really important I want to talk about Modern Warfare 3. For those of you who didn't go to Machinima or watch the live stream, they did show one mission of it, and then Machinima actually got them to show a whole other mission. So, definitely, definitely, definitely look at that. Um, if you haven't looked at it already, I kind of want to talk about what I am expecting of Modern Warfare 3, and what I think the community kind of should be expecting. Um, and my, I've seen a few things, I know for sure, in the campaign, uh, campaign mode, the AK-47U, the P-90, the G-18, and the AK-47 are for sure there. You've seen, also in the campaign mode, a noob tube that seems to like laser lock on noob tube. They have confirmed though that that will not be in the multiplayer. I kind of get upset when I realized that Sledgehammer would indeed be making this game the multiplayer because I kind of like a pay board. They're just the kind of people I've always liked to talk about and talk with. But uh, Sledgehammer has said on which is a really horrible move on my on their part that their campaign is going to be totally separate from the multiplayer. I don't think that should happen. I know a lot of people are like, good, that means there's no overpowered weapons like there is in multiplayer. I mean, campaign. But, uh, yeah, I mean, campaign mode. Uh, but, you know, I kind of like it where you can tell that the campaign mode laces into the multiplayer. Because all you're seeing really is you join a campaign game, play it for a bit, and then go to multiplayer and you kind of want to do something. With Infinity War in the past, it's always been possible. With this, it will not be. I mean, you'll have to be spending hours on hours just trying to find a gun that will fit you. While before, while we've always known that the campaign mode had guns that fit you in multiplayer, you could easily find a gun in the campaign mode that you liked during the campaign and try it out, and normally that was a quick fix for you. I mean, I know for sure in Marvel for 2, that scar and the ACR just automatically locked in with me and whenever I find one on the ground in the game or I have one I always seem to do pretty good I mean sure there are a few guns that I've learned I do do good with without playing them in campaign mode but the campaign mode gave me a basic start for the gun selection I'd be using throughout the game so I definitely do wish that the sledgehammer hadn't done that but they did do it and they can't change it speaking of the campaign mode now I kinda wanna go to what I'm expecting for that I am hoping that they do start off in both missions that they've shown us they have shown nothing of soap or uh, price that made me mad I kinda wanted to know where soap and price were I wanted to know what they were doing I wanted to know what happened to soap that's the most important thing for me and they didn't show any of it so if they don't have them in the campaign mode I'm going to be like sparking with anger if they make me wait till Modern Warfare 5 in order to get no, no, for four in order to see soap again, I'm going to be blistering with fury. I just can't stand the fact of not seeing how soap turned out. Because in all honesty, they left you off at a part where you didn't know what to expect next. I mean, they could have easily transformed that ending into soap dying and Price exacting revenge and going furious with Nikolai, or they could have made it into something where soap lives and quickly a three-man team is formed to help the world. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh Somebody's here. That's embarrassing. Anyway, um, with the multiplayer, what I am expecting, they have told us that they are going to be, uh, what's it called? Definitely putting in some of the old, no, they said they will definitely be putting in old favorites. The Commando, the perk, not the gun, and the OMA, which is One Man Army, are for sure going to be gone. And for those of you who don't know, the Commando gun is actually an M4 carabine, and that's always been in old games. I know a lot of people don't actually know what the guns are in real life, but the Commando is indeed an M4 that's modified. Um, so, another quick note on that is, I don't really care about what the two bricks that took away. I mean, I do admit that I do use Commando for my knifing on Rust, because it just, that's the one fair way to make it so you don't die on Rust. But, uh, 
uh, the women army, I've personally never used it. I've only heard bad stories about it. And, you know, if that's how it's going to be, I'll accept that. I don't really need women army. I don't need commando. To get rid of stopping power, I mean, it's kind of an Infinity War in my opinion, because Infinity War has always been the one to provide us with the damaging kind of perks and damaging like, guns. But then again, Sledgehammer took over, and we know for a fact, uh, Treyarch plays defensively. That's one thing when you're playing a Treyarch game, you automatically always know we'll be in the game. Playing an Infinity War game, I've almost always caught them playing around with high damage and, uh, <coughs> sorry about that guys, guns that do high damage. Uh, and perks that do high damage. It's all about damage with Infinity War. Sledgehammer, we haven't seen that approach. They may make everything balanced, so every gun stands a fair chance. Except for sniper rifles, of course, which it's either a, I kill you fast or I don't kill you at all, all the time with those. Um, what other aspects are the survival mode? For those of you who don't know, survival mode is going to be in the game. It is basically I'm not. They haven't released whether it's going to be a team or a solo kind of thing, but survival mode is basically for those of you who don't know, you are fighting endless waves of enemies. So, no, well, not endless. We don't know that for sure either. But we do know that it will be um, waves of enemies that gradually get harder. This is a team event. It'll be just like zombies, which will be awesome. I would not mind that one bit. Um, I kind of like that out, Cherik. That's one thing that kept me buying the Call of Duty throughout Treyarch's games. And uh, if Infinity War put that on there, it would only make Modern Warfare 3 even better. So I am looking forward to that for sure. Um, Scope-wise, I know in the tra uh, trailer for the campaign mode, they did indeed show a scope that was a red dot scope, or maybe holographic. Think red dot. And the guy flipped it over and it became an ACOG red dot. That looks pretty epic in my opinion. I totally, totally, totally want that in the game at all cost. Um, who knows though, once again, Sledgehammer may take that out and be like, nope. But I would love that. That, cause, I mean, sometimes you're kind of going for that sniper effect where you want to be able to tunnel down to one point. And sometimes you want to be in a combat situation and you want to have that red dot. It just adjusts on what kind of gameplay you're playing. Um, this game is about to come to a close. I may have one other game on this matches contemplation I have here. Uh, once again, I'm sorry guys, the cable is not fixed yet. I know it's a bunch of boring sniper gameplay. Um, let me want to talk a little bit more about Modern Warfare 3. I probably will talk about that for one more video. And other than that, I kind of want to go on and, uh, talk about some of my favorite things about Modern Warfare 2. And, uh, why I think it's a good game. Uh, we have two more kills in order to lose. Sad, 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 sad. Uh, and the final kills on my friend Tiger. So I don't know if I do watch it. I probably do. But, uh, remember guys, have a nice day. Remember to like, slash, dislike, and comment. And, uh, do me a favor and subscribe if you'd be so kindly. It'd, uh, be greatly appreciated here. And, uh, have a nice day. And hats to you, my friend.